What's the deal, y'all? This your man, King Eric, the media assassin, coming at y'all with another video. So apparently, D1 made the headlines today. And for those who don't know who D1 is, D1 is the Christian rapper from New Orleans who made critical remarks, most notably sorting out Rick Ross, Meek Mill. And this was the guy that Jim Jones wanted to smack the dread out of, you know, for his criticism about the direction of hip-hop and the content of hip-hop. And this one here, he made quite a stink. Now, he says here, and I'm going to read this article from HotNewHipHop.com. It says here, D1 says that NWA and any other artists who have glorified trap music should not be considered legends. The Christian rapper explained his reasoning during an interview from the Art of Dialogue. He has been discussing special ed's previous comments on drink chants in which the rapper accused NWA of ushering in the age of destruction. What do we do with that, he asked. Once he, we acknowledge what you have contributed to the genre your whole career, and if we acknowledge that you contribute a bunch of negativity, a bunch of violence, a bunch of disrespect to women, what do we do? Do we call you a legend? Or is it like, wait, we don't need to call you no legend. I think that calling people legends in hip-hop is also a force at what helps per per perpetuate negativity, and that's a trick of the enemy. That's the devil's work in his finest. Okay, and he also said, he continued, we could... We're going to make it to where we got to stop calling people legends and immortalize people inside of hip hop. And the main thing they contribute is glorifying about. Okay, I already read this part. Now, hold on, I'm trying to find the part. So, all the rappers who glorify trap music should not be considered legends. I'm going to say it again. All the rappers who have glorified trap music should not be considered legends. That's a fact. Controversial opinions like they have called Joe Button and others the label D a clout chaser. Be on the lookout for other D1 updates on hip hop. Okay. Now, I'm going to get my thoughts about this here. This is a battle he is not going to win. He is not going to win this battle because what he, what he has to understand is that N.W.A. was birthed off a of rebellion. And yes, just like everything in the culture, it has violence. Everything associated with America has violence. N.W.A. was born off a of rebellion when it first started. We talked with F the police. They pushed that line to where people could pretty much say what they want to say. And Uncle Luke, he fought, he fought the courts for that. But see, I feel as though D1, this is very un, this is a very unfair take because NWA, them niggas is in their 50s. They're not active. You know what I mean? I'm just like, you're not going to win with that here because that tree alone spearheaded what death row bone thugs and harmony the west coast movement you're creating a lot more problems for yourself than you have and a lot of people are not going to take it that way just like they took it a story with special ed said what he said however i do not say that you should put harm on this brother i feel that dialogue is needed and i would love to see him and ice cube debate it out but one thing I notice about him is that he's not naming names. Now, see, it's unfair to paint hip hop in one brush. That's what what C. Lois Tucker and Calvin Butts used to do, and that's where their message get lost. He need to call out names because I noticed when Dialog asked him, "Who are the rappers you talking about?" He danced around it. N.W.A. Them niggas is grandfathers now. You ain't calling out cash money. You ain't calling out NBA young boy. You ain't calling out Bootsy. These guys are in your backyard. Why you ain't calling out Fivio Foreign? What's this guy named Fivio Foreign? That guy got a song right now where he got a white people, or I got a white boy going to the hood killing niggas. Why you ain't addressing that? Why you not addressing the little dirts? That's your generation. That's your demographic. NWA, you won't even, you really, you probably was like, what, seven years old when they were born, they were blowing up. This is your demographic right here. These niggas are taking drill to the next level. And I'm, and I'm surprised that nobody really, it's a, it's a, it's kind of like nobody likes a preaching type guy. Nobody likes to be preached to. There's ways of getting your message out there without becoming too preachy. And this is where he's going to lose. This is where he's going to lose his message. Because now you're going to turn off the people that may want to ride with you before. 
But now they're not going to fuck with you at all. And considering stripping NWA of his legacy, nah, that's not going to work at all. Because now you're going to create problems from the West Coast, like I said earlier. But we're going to see where this goes. I don't wish no harm to the brother. He has a right to his own opinion. I hope things can be debated in a respectful way. We need respectful dialogue. We need to set up a way where you can get dialogue instead of just threats and back and forth and this record. That's what needs to happen. So hopefully, we shall see that. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. Subscribe, hit the like button. Peace.